Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. I'm Ryan Beach and on today's video, we're gonna be going over a practice session that I did today where I used the Gold Method app to practice Beach A2 number 13. I wanted to show this because there are a few things I include into my practice that aren't necessarily uh, established in the app. And one of those things is gonna be mental rehearsal. We covered this on a different video. So after this one, if you wanna check that out to get more information, you should definitely do that. I thought the easiest way to do this would be for me to just just give commentary on the actual practice session itself, kind of walk you through what I was thinking of and what I was trying to accomplish and various things like that. So as you can see here on the Gold Method app, uh, if we click on this, I'm on day five and day five is just gonna be the first two sections at these different tempos. And I'm gonna leave this up here so you can kind of see me checking the tempos off as I go uh, and keeping track of where we're at. So here we have my practice session that I filmed. And before we play this first repetition, I'm actually gonna do a mental rehearsal before I start. This is something I do almost every single time I open up this app. I just want to use mental rehearsal to get my mind right, get everything in the right spot, and making sure that I'm engaged and remembering what it is that I'm trying to do in my practice. So let's take a look at that. As you can see, I'm doing it with the metronome here. So I mentally rehearse at the same tempos that I practice at. Good, and now we're gonna go ahead and play and see what happens. Good. So I'm generally pretty happy with that. So I'll go ahead and um, check this tempo off. I'm generally pretty happy with how that went. Uh, so when I'm mentally rehearsing, I'm just going to be trying to make sure that I can hear that interval in the very last phrase. Um, but other than that, I'm trying to actually just continue imprinting exactly what I did before that made me successful. Right there, I had actually a restart in my mental rehearsal because I just wasn't focused, so I thought I'd start over. Really trying to feel that that goes up to the A in terms of uh, how intense it is. Here we go. Yeah, not focused. Good. So I got the F sharp that time. So I'm thinking to myself, all right, now we've sort of figured out exactly what we want to do. And we just need to now continue to do that. We've figured it out. Now let's continue to do the same process, but ingrain exactly what it is that we want to do. I don't try to take anything for granted, especially in these B shade but just in general, I don't try to take anything for granted. I'm always trying to instill good habits. All right, repetition number three. There, basically the repetition was great. I still had some trouble with that last interval B F sharp, C, I played, I think a D sharp again. So right here, I'm getting focused. I'm actually not gonna do a mental rehearsal. Instead, I'm just gonna try to get right into it and see if I can recreate it on this last repetition. So all in all, I would say the quality is pretty high. It's not 100% perfect, but 
I'm understanding what I need to be able to do to generally get the quality right. I will continue to try to get it right uh, in future practice sessions, but I don't spend all day. I just make a note and I try to remember it for next time. I might even write it in a journal sometimes if I'm struggling to remember. So now we're gonna move on to the second section. And again, we start with a mental rehearsal so that we can um, get our mind right. Hmm. Looks like right there I just stumbled and wasn't focused. So this also helps with making sure we're focused the entire time. I find that um, focus is one of the hardest parts about being able to play at a high level and we need to demonstrate that focus and continue to build it while we practice. So pretty good repetition, some stuff near the beginning that we need to shore up. Um, again, we're, we're going slow here. We're probably around 58, maybe 60%. This is day five again of the program. So we mentally rehearse again, just to keep imprinting what we know is making us successful. And we'll also try to really focus on hearing and focusing on what we need to uh, for the things that we miss. So we're constantly trying to build what we would call a mental model through this process. Once we have the mental model, it becomes a lot easier to produce that model uh, when, we, when we perform. All right, so that repetition was a lot better in terms of consistency. So in my mind, I'm thinking, good, we've figured out something that works. We're gonna do one more mental rehearsal and we're gonna try to make sure that we just continue to imprint what makes us successful. When you do mental rehearsal like this, you can see that I'm not actually making sound on the instrument. So the only thing dictating uh, where the line goes and where it changes I might make is what's going on in my head. So it's really instilling that I'm hearing um, this music in my head while I'm playing it. Still struggle with the same thing. So for this last repetition, like I said, I'm gonna, instead of doing another mental rehearsal, I'm just gonna try to get myself into that zone and see if on this last repetition, I can produce quality playing without mentally rehearsing it. And there we have it. So that's the end of my work today that the app has designed for me to do. 
I'll come back tomorrow, I'll do the other half of the etude, and then I'll be done with the first week. Now, something that's worth mentioning here is that this is the first cycle through. This is the very first week of me practicing this. I will most likely do a second cycle of this. So I'll play the first two weeks, and then I'll go back to the beginning of the process and start it all over again. And some of these notes that aren't quite lining up, if they haven't been lined up at the end of this process, it will definitely get covered that second time through. So it's a bit of a balance to make sure that we're you know, learning what we need to learn, but not getting too caught up and sort of being perfectionistic. Like we need to be able to move through the process. And then again, by the time we get to the end, well, then we just do it again. And then we say, okay, now that I've learned this piece quite well, I can spend more of my focus on those little tiny details that didn't quite get worked out the first time. I hope this has been helpful for you to see kind of how I would approach my practice session. This is literally exactly what I do. And so if mental rehearsal isn't something that you are incorporating into your practice, uh, hopefully this demonstration of it is something that can kind of give you an idea of where to start and how to incorporate it. I think it's a really effective tool and I would highly encourage you to experiment with it and incorporate it into what you do. I think that's going to be all for the video. I really appreciate you watching it. Make sure you give it a like and make sure to subscribe so you can see more content like this. I'll leave a link down below where you can sign up for a free 30 minute call if you want to know more about this kind of stuff or you want to know about my programming or anything like that. If you want to check out more videos, I'll put some on the screen that you can check those out and continue watching and getting more information. We'll see you in the next video.